we're looking uh, east on Manton Street, 100 block of Manton Street, toward Front Street and toward I-95. That's the potential site of the off-ramp that Foxwoods wants to build to serve its customers. So it would start north of us about a block and run down about four blocks to Dickinson Street, where it would dump the traffic onto Dickinson Street, where there's some brand new houses and, you know, other historic or neighborhoods. Foxwood spokesman on November the 14th, 2007, said that they would widen Front Street to the west in order to accommodate the traffic and the ramp. And that would lead to the demolition of houses and businesses all along Front Street. They've since denied that they would ever do that. But they did tell the gaming board in Harrisburg that they would do that. So I, I think they would have a, a struggle because we would be protesting. But we've seen over and over again that these corporations and these uh, developments have their way with the neighbors. They have their way. They have Governor Rendell stuck in the old corrupt mode of politics and serving his uh, contributors and making a fuss and trying to jam these down our throats. So I would say that they would have, you know, the upper hand with us. Legal options, we've tried suing them. You know, we've been thrown out of court because of Pennsylvania. Supreme Court is in their pocket, too. So I don't think we have many legal options. We're hoping that the Pennsylvania House of Representatives and the Senate will pass H.R. 1477. Do you know about that? It's a bill that would put a buffer between casinos and neighborhoods, 1,500 feet. A buffer between neighborhoods like this and casinos, any neighborhood in the city. And if they pass that, then these casinos will have to look elsewhere. And there's another bill, House Bill 1840, which would eliminate the buffer zones that are now around the racetrack casinos. Do you know about that? The Pennsylvania Gaming Board set up protection zones around the casinos at racetracks for 10 miles, so no other casino can be within the 10-mile circles. And that means that these casinos are forced to be in our neighborhood as opposed to other potential areas that are not neighborhoods. So those two bills in the Pennsylvania legislature are ones that we're depending on. They've been in committee so far, but they're supposed to come out of committee, so we're trying to lobby to get them out of committee and into a vote. So those are the things that we're depending on. Also, city council and Mayor Nutter, we're hoping that they're going to be, um, you know, on our side and help us do what they can.